It is really a pleasure for me to share some thought on our MICTA outreach uh, seminar today. It is uh, so difficult to talk about a similar topic after uh, Foreign Minister Julie Bishop uh, mentioned about everything on uh, MICTA. Uh, indeed, uh, this is timely for infant age uh, MICTA to be more introduced to international society through a constructive dialogue, exchange of ideas like this forum, to position MICTA in our respective region and explore its contribution to the region and the world. There is undergoing constant, which is uh, undergoing constant transformation with great challenges and opportunities. Since there is no major political conflict occurring in our respective region, although some deficit of political trust might happen bilaterally, we enjoy a condition, conditio sine qua non for promoting economic cooperation and people-to-people -people relations. Risk of economic turbulence and unfavorable dynamics in the global economy might be there, but the degree of economic interdependence and among MICTA countries is strong. Indeed, the promotion of economic growth was a priority of our G20. We need a higher economic growth to create more jobs, alleviate poverty, raise the standard of living, and close development gaps. Ladies and gentlemen, people-to-people -people context can be challenging because of the geographical distance of MICTA members. But it is surely will promote mutual understanding and consolidation among MICTA members. Exchanges between journalists, students, junior diplomats, art and culture are wise investment for the future of strong ties between our people. Sharing information through a digital world, like website and other online means, will make this tie even stronger. These two Fold, this twofold powerful nexus should be backbone of MICTA. Number one, the acceleration of economic development. And number two, is strong people-to-people -people contact for the prosperity of the nations. MICTA countries are no exception with the rest of this world. We should work together in spirit of partnership. No global issue or problem can be solved by merely one particular country, especially if we talk about non-traditional issues like terrorism, people smuggling, irregular migra migration, drug trafficking. New global issues keep emerging, including in the areas of finance and economics, security, environment, and sustainable development. Challenging the effort, <clears throat> those uh, issues has challenging the efforts to maintain the stability and prosperity of the international community. Cyberspace is a future issue. It can enhance communication, openness, and creativity, but at the same time can threaten fundamental rights, freedom, and national security. We need partnership to deal with these challenges, and we want MICTA members to work shoulder to shoulder to deliver contributions and cooperate with the international community. We don't want MICTA as a, a complicated, ambitious, and rigid entity. The simpler, the better. By so doing, MICTA can utilize or immerse itself into the existing institutions, mechanism or forum for nurturing dialogue and building trust. MICTA can take benefit from ASEAN, for example, or any other regional mechanism that have been proven beneficial for countries to engage in dialogue, reconcile differences, build trust, manage conflict, and work toward a common goal. Together with ASEAN countries, we are expecting ASEAN economic community by the end of 2015 that will transform ASEAN to become a sim single community of 600 <coughs> million uh, population that is prosperous, stable, peaceful, and outward-looking. 
At the same time, we have MICTA with more than 500 million people altogether becoming an economic giant also in this uh, global uh, interaction. This community will not only bring benefits to its member states, to its member states and its people, but also contribute to the region and international community. Finally, strong MICTA needs to be supported through a sturdy fundament, the strong and sound bilateral relations. This needs strong understanding and commitment to build countries' mutual interests and to advance the cause of peace and prosperity. Certainly, what we want to see today is the role of MICTA to play a constructive role in the international agenda and exert greater influence to be an agent for common goal of peace, stability, and prosperity. However, MICTA members have to be agreeable what constructive role it can play and how to make the best joint effort for building norms, developing guidelines, sharing best practices, and forging collective response among MICTA members. I thank you.